How did I imagine plastic surgery as an international medical graduate from Syria? Hello friends, if you're new here, my name is Malki Assad, plastic surgery resident in the US, and in this video, I'm gonna answer the questions that so many of you asked me, which is, how did you match in plastic surgery residency as an IMG? The first thing that helped me match into plastic surgery residency, and in my opinion, the most important, is my mentors. I can't stress enough how important your mentors are in helping you match into residency. The value of your mentor goes beyond just helping you with your research project, reviewing a paper for you, or fixing some mistakes on your application. The value of your mentor is someone to guide you with the process, guide you with any questions you have, should you apply for a rotation, should you apply for a grant, uh, what should you do in each situation. That is the real value of the mentor. The value of the mentor is also to help you connect with people in the field, especially in small fields like plastic surgery where everyone knows everyone. So if your mentor believes in you, believes that you're a really good applicant and wants to help you, they will be reaching out to their friends, their colleagues to help you in the match process. And don't think that this only applies for IMGs, it also applies for US students. That's why you see uh, American students from schools that don't have a plastic surgery program, they struggle to match into plastic surgery because they lack plastic surgery mentors. And you see so many of them, they do research or rotations to be able to build these connections with a mentor who will help them through the process. And you don't necessarily have to have one mentor. You can have two mentors or three mentors or maybe 10 mentors. And each of them would help you through their own way or through their own network. But how can you find mentors? You can find mentors uh, through your clinical activities. So if you're doing a rotation, uh, if you're uh, doing an observership, you might build a relationship with a, a mentor who can help you throughout the process or through research. And in my case, it was the combination of research and clinical because I did some electives in the US through which I was able to establish connections with US physicians who helped me with the match process, but mainly it was through research because in research I spent three years, as I'll talk next about when I talk about research, I spent three years, two years with one mentor and one year with another, which means the type of relationship you build with someone when you spend two years with them is totally different than spending two or three weeks. That's why a lot of IMGs who match into competitive specialties, they spend two or three or four years in research in which they were able to establish connections with someone or multiple people who helped them to match. And if you're interested in learning about the characteristics of a good mentor, how to find a mentor, I have a detailed course on how to find research positions in the US. And throughout that course, I explain these characteristics of a mentor and how to find one. And when you sign up to this course, you'll get immediate access to the previous recorded sessions, in addition to the live webinar that will happen every four to five months. And I'll leave the link for this course in the description below. Before we move on to the next point, I can't stress enough the value of a mentor or mentors. It's the key to a successful match, especially in competitive specialties. However, you have to keep one very important thing in mind, which is you have to work extremely hard and impress that mentor. Especially if you're working with someone who's influential or has been mentoring students for years, the bar is higher for these people. So working with a good mentor doesn't necessarily guarantee you a match. You have to work extremely hard and be very impressive with your work so you can combine the uh, influence of your mentor and the support of your mentor with your hard work and your skills. The second thing that helped me match into plastic surgery is research. I spent three years doing research, one at the Mayo Clinic and two years at MD Anderson Cancer Center. And these three years were amazing experiences. I learned a ton. I published over 100 papers. I did over 80 presentations. And in my opinion, this research experience was extremely important in my residency application. And the value of research is not just a list of publications or presentations on your CV. It goes way beyond that. When you're spending three years or four years doing research in a specialty, it shows a huge commitment to the specialty. If you're spending three years working extremely hard, that means you're really hardworking. It's not like you're acting to be hardworking for a month or two months. You spent three years doing something and being able to impress people along this time period. So that means this is a true reflection of who you are as a person and who you will be as a resident. Also, when you do research for a long time period, it shows commitment to academia and advancing the field. And this is very interesting for academic programs that are trying to graduate leaders of the field. Residents will become surgeons in the future and push the field forward. 
That's why research is important. It's not just a list of publications that you have on your CV. I remember residents when they used to tell me that an away rotation or an elective is a month of interview. And now I think about research is two or three years of interview. You're being interviewed and evaluated every single day. And despite that, for those who were able to match, they pass this test. So that's why program directors are less reluctant these days to take international graduates if they spend a significant amount of time in research, if they were able to perform extremely well during that time. Now let's move on to the third factor that helped me in my residency application and matching into plastic surgery residency, which are my step one and step two CK scores. I scored 271 on my step one, 272 on my step to CK and so many IMGs when they hear these scores they think these are the most important factor and the main reason why a program directors chose me for a plastic surgery residency and in my opinion that is not the case I don't think the scores were the most important things that's why I put them after the mentors and after research and the reason why I believe that it was mentioned on the interviews maybe once or twice that's why I don't believe the scores were the most important factor in me matching to plastic surgery also talking to program directors to residents they told me that scores are not the reason why they would choose an applicant scores are like a screening criteria so if you are of over 250 or over 255 that means you have good uh, test taking skills you have higher likelihood of passing your boards and not failing your boards so that's why scores in my opinion are not the most important factor they would definitely impress program directors if you have high scores they might they might favor you over an applicant who have 230 but if you have 270 and somebody has 255 i don't think that makes a big difference and now number four is my u.s clinical experience i did multiple electives before i graduated from medical school i did multiple observerships in the u.s before i started residency and although the elective were around two years before I applied to residency because I spent that time doing research I still believe they helped me in applying to residency and matching into plastic surgery residency because when people wrote me letters of recommendation that I was able to function with the US healthcare system I understood the system I helped with surgeries I helped with the floor tasks that probably gave program directors more comfort in choosing me versus an applicant who doesn't have US clinical experience at all so I highly recommend doing electives or away rotations if you are able to do that uh, if you're not able to do electives because you graduated from medical school do observerships although you don't have much hands-on experience it's still valuable you'll still be able to establish connections with residents with the program that you are doing the observership at. and finally my application which includes the personal statement the cv the interviews are worked extremely hard on these documents to make them look as good as possible so if you need help with your personal statement with your cv with your interviews don't hesitate to reach out to us we have an experienced team of advisors who will help you every step of the way to make you shine throughout your personal statement and cv and ace your residency interviews and i'll leave all the links for our services in the description below so again i worked really hard on my personal statement i had so many drafts i showed it to my colleagues took their feedback revised it the same with the CV, in interview preparation, I worked again extremely hard on that. And by the way, I made a list of over 200 questions that you are more likely to encounter on your residency interview. And that is all available for free on our blog. And I left the link for that in the description below. And I made also multiple YouTube videos that will teach you uh, the skills or the techniques that you can use to ace your residency interviews. So I invested so much time preparing answers for every question in reading about the programs, learning about what they do and asking questions that reflect my knowledge about the program and what they do. So if I had to pick the five most important factors that helped me match into plastic surgery, I would pick my mentors, my research experience, my USMLE scores, my US clinical experience, and my application. And of course, none of these factors would have worked or helped me to match into plastic surgery if I didn't work hard. That's a no-brainer. Hard work is no-brainer to matching into competitive specialty or matching in general. You have to work hard, you have to dedicate yourself show your full commitment to the specialty and people will appreciate that and help you match in your dream specialty that brings us to the end of this video if you find any value in this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever i post future videos on my youtube channel if you have any questions drop them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to us by email info at matchguide.com my instagram or twitter at malki asad or my facebook page malki asad md also if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one to an advisor to provide you with a detailed plan on how to match into residency and a competitive specialty check out our advising services that i'll leave the link for that 
in the description below. Thank you everyone so much for watching and see you in future videos and good luck on your application.